Let me, let me ask you a simple question here, Rum Rooms. If you had one rocks, one opportunity, would you take it? Mecha Nugget Boozax Bongus, our bestest boy, would certainly take it. Hell, exactly will that happen, you ask? Precious, sweet, good, just, charitable, kind, and gregarious little Rum Rooms. We're going to uncover the secrets of the rocks. Where's my research gone? Did we not start the animal research? Well, that ruined that one. Brilliant. Oh, we finished the research. We are going to uncover the secrets of the rocks. We're gonna figure out what they whispered, how they whispered secrets of everything to Mecha Nugget's ancestor, Ungus Bungus, and Chuck Rock. In this age of technology and scientific marvels, we're not here to ask why rocks or how rocks. We are here to ask what rocks what is rocks what is a rock specifically obviously that didn't really fit no more medieval bullshit we don't need these we don't need these tables keeping track of medieval comings and goings we need one thing and one thing only answers answers to why we're here the goal of any good science man this is the greatest and most secretive work that mecha nugget puzak Bungus will ever do put a blast door on this damn building now while mecha nugget starts his personal project to uncover the secrets of the rocks we have another project to start work on you may remember that sadly and unavoidably yesterday grandma disaster met her and at the hand of the enclave many people suggested it was it was friendly fire and i mean how dare you suggest that someone would take disaster out like that we don't have grenades does it look like we have grenades to you how could we have blown how could we have blown grandma up when we clearly have no explosive weapons you moron you actual fucking idiot i told you to hide that before we started recording the enclave ended her life and now there is only one way we can pay them back. A protege, I mean, arguably her adopted son, her butler, her loyal guard, Admus, and her were, were, were planning. They had things in the motion, as you might remember. And that happens to be a staggering amount of miniguns. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Admus is the type of person. I don't think his, his pride would let him simply let the Enclave get away with assassinating his mentor, his guardian, his friend. Take up arms, Gooseborn. Gather your weapons, gather your rifles, or in this case, your enormous Gatling guns. Castle Gooseborn goes to war at long last. We do it for adopted grandma. Go for disaster. After they assassinated her like that. Totally, totally unavoidable. Though I think Admus and his family would do a lot of damage armed with these very, very, very powerful guns. And armed, of course, with their very, very, very powerful armor. We can always do better and more importantly spookier we don't just want to physically defeat them for killing grandma like that we want to mentally defeat them they will know fear sadly for us fear currently has a cost of 35 devil strand so uh we might be waiting a little while on that one i have had them plant devil strand out here and i've got them building some more boxes whenever we get a little more wood how have we not got enough wood oh just lazy lazy builders the problem is that will take a very 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 long time to grow so let's send admus back over to the engineers see if we can just buy some devil strand Chances are they'll sell it. And with this, we're about to fulfill one of Granny's greatest dreams, becoming an arms dealer. If only she was alive to see this. If only her life wasn't cut so tragically short. Now, the best part about being Admus is that everybody wants to trade with Admus. Do they want to buy our guns or was that a total fucking waste of time? It was. It was. Round of applause, please, everyone. Do you at least sell Devil's Trend? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. What about my good friends, the Corrupt Mega Corporation? You could have just called it the Mega Corporation. <laughs> Do you lot want to buy? Yeah, they want to buy this crap. Hey, you want to buy some miniguns though? No? Are you got any Devil Strand? Shit. About the off-world trading of lines. Have you got anything for me? Any Devil Strand? No, they don't. No, they don't. We've been bamboozled. Do you want to buy my miniguns? They don't even want to buy all those chain guns that I built. They don't even want to buy it. The trader was not willing to buy it. They would sell an Alliance Terminal though. That sounds good. Nibbles wrote nearby research bench to investigate advanced projects. Oh, shit. Increases research speed and allows the researching of Alliance technologies. God damn. I was also also going to say is while Mecha Nugget works on the Rocks program, and while Admus is out there on his personal crusade to avenge Granny, everyone else can try and research the last few things we've got in the Spacer Era. And I know what you're thinking. What the hell do you mean last few things? When he just got to the Spacer Era, well, funnily enough, the Spacer Era is basically just a stopgap between uh, the massive amount of industrial stuff and the massive amount of Ultratech stuff. Yeah, we don't get any other non-medieval furniture right the way up through to Ultratech. You know, obviously a little bit by design, so I don't want to use the same ones I'm going to use in Generation 2, etc, 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 etc. You should know by this point. It's episode 470, or it certainly feels like it. What? 
Learn how to culture pets such as dogs and cats. <gasps> I can make a Labrador retriever. My god. I love Hilda and Ungus just casually there mining. Mining up the chromium. It's not the hardest thing to mine up because basically it's just decorative, right? And there's fucking Asteroid who takes no... Oh, god. Takes no prisoners. <laughs> Look at her go. To her credit, she does have like 20 mining, so that makes a lot more sense. You don't need to work in the quarry. We're, we're, we've, we've evolved beyond that. We're better than that now. But you keep taking off your fucking power armor. I, like, I, I look away for a second and he's taking it off. Oh, I bet he's putting on the bloody gloves. And that's dropping it. Though I do like him in his sunglasses. I, I mean, he made this legendary armor. What if we go for the legendary armor and then just the sunglasses? That seems like a pretty good combo. He's almost unrecognizable with that level of cool. Yes, I believe that thing we could already craft. Oh. <laughs> Devastator Mortis. Now that seems a bit more interesting. We'll have a look at that in a second. What else have you got for me? Shield belts. And now this I've been avoiding. OE core because that leads to all of the obsidian expansion stuff. So I've been saving that till last. We've got loads of shield generators, then a bunch of blank research and the repeatable stuff. So we are basically done with space attack already. I don't know how much of this stuff there is, and I presume a lot of it is probably ultra tech. We've got a turret that leads to another type of turret. I wasn't joking when I said we didn't have much research left. This is it. This is it for the spacer era. We've got repeatable productivity, repeatable harvest yield, and then all of the obsidian expansion stuff. This one I've never looked at before, and it's the one I wanted to save right to the end, because it looks like it's got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that I wouldn't normally use in a regular playthrough. Now, admittedly, a lot of the research time was spent on this, this animal lab stuff. Very, very cool mod. Not really the series for it, given that it lets you engineer animals. And this is on RimWorld. You know, see where I'm going with this? Like This one lets you make special animals like the Thrombo. We don't have Thrombos. There it is. OE Core. That gives us access to all buildings. Hello. Oh my god, I might finally be able to make the city look a bit more spacer. -era. Oh, this is fun. Okay, I'm stealing your whole aesthetic. We've also got very fancy plants. OE Construction? Armor oh, Station, Weapon Workbench, and then some sort of general... Spacer looking clothing. This is much better. In hindsight, maybe we should have done this first rather than last. Hello, OE furniture. Oh, it's only it's only four things. Coolers, heaters, Rimopoly, and comms console. That's fine. Looks very futuristic, so I'll still take it. We got some sort of oh obsidian walls. Look at these. We need something called Syntherius. Is that a plant? A lot of this stuff seems to be plant Syntherius tree. There you go. Strange and previously underestimated plant from Obsidius. Synthirium crystals grow inside the tree. Previously, it was used in jewelry, but after further exploration, it became a key element in the production of obsidia. Boom. Sold. Easy sale. Let's get rid of this crap, too. And there's so much to this model. Look at this. This is really cool. You can basically theme your entire base around this, which, to be fair, I actually might. I think I might have a look. Try and avoid the big total conversion mods in regular mod packs because they tend to overshadow everything else. We haven't really got a theme right now. We've just got a weird hybrid culture and a lot of primitive stuff still hanging around. No, that is our culture. This is our culture, goddammit. We advanced power. I don't think we really need it, but we might as well give it a go. I think our fusion generator has got our pretty limited needs covered for a long while, <laughs> especially given that we're running at 75%. There's that bloody armor we've been seeing since the start of the game. Man, there's so much different stuff here. Hunter armor gives psychic sensitivity, move speed. Regular armor gives melee dodge chance. That's kind of fun. Regular armor gives toxic resistance, flammability, and carrying capacity there too. It's fun. Color-coded different armor sets to show they do different things. It's a cool idea. It'd be cool if there were more special armor sets in base game remote, right? A, a giant set of armor with an extra pair of arms for cutting down trees quicker. Or some sort of mechanized cataphract gear designed to do a load of mining. I don't know, but it makes perfect sense. Either that or we just say exoskeletons all the time. And actually, on the subject of that, how about some exoskeletons? <laughs> oh, we've also got exo frame. Global work speed 10% move speed 1.2. Bloody hell. I remember this mod. Yeah, it's Rimsinol again. Yeah, I haven't used this in ages. Yeah, let's throw some of those down because they use different slots. The Exo Pack is um, Utility, right? And then this one is Outer. Whoa, 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 whoa. What about this stuff? What about this stuff here? Middle and Outer. Is there anything that's just middle but also like good armor? Ooh, hello. UAC Nano Carbon Suit. Move speed, global work speed up by 15%. Jesus Christ. Melee break threshold, aiming time, and shooting accuracy down. Why not give that? To everyone. Well, it might use specifically cloth instead of anything. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're, we're set. Oh my God, there's a BFG right there. I mean, I've got to make one. I've got to make one to see what it does, right? The armor values on that aren't bad either. Bear in mind, armor is what we got to focus on more than anything else. Not just work speed and move speed and blah, blah, blah. we got bulwark, so i got to go do big brain time for that one. Holy shit. 
There's so many different specialized armors. This is cool. I like this a lot. What did we pick up from all the bionics research then? Because this is on remod. There's no bionic arms or legs or anything else. Toxic grenade dispenser module. Hello. Charge rifle combat drone pack. Oh, shit. S1 shield belt is an advanced version that allows the wearer to fire outwards. What slot does it take, though? Is it utility? It's still utility, right? So we can't use that with the other stuff. Honestly, it would make more sense given that we're supposed to be bulwark and that's a shield generator. This is the shit I was looking forward to, right? Mods that I've never played before. Oh my god, maybe this is a lot of stuff. Holy shit. I, I presume these are like different fire modes or something. Balance weapons with cryo charges. Oh my god, are these all different things you can craft? Boy, I hope there's a new workbench. Otherwise, that's going to be a lot of stuff to scroll through. <laughs> and we don't care about the weapons, okay? We don't need the weapons. We're bulwark. We, we don't need this nonsense. That's all the OE weapon and armor mods done. I dread to check the machining table. Is there like a lot on here? Uh, shit. Yeah, okay. It's not as bad as I expected. I thought there would be a different one for every single one of those. Actually, where do you make the weapons then? Fabrication bench? Or maybe the weapons and... Workbench tables. Okay, let's have a look at this then. Go for obsidian. I think we'll probably only need 500. I don't know that I'll go too hard on this, but I at least want to have a look, see what they've got. Hey, lazy, get to work. Oh, shit. We need synthereus. Wait, and mithril, mithril. Not like, not like fool's mithril, not like plastil. You want like mithril, mithril, mithril. Ah, oh, shit. How do I get mithril? Myth nothing. Okay, uh, what about a regular smell, sir? Myth nothing. Oh, bollocks. Well, where do I get mithril from? <laughs> I don't understand. Mithril, I don't know where I get this stuff from. There's so much stuff in this mod pack. Myth, mi mi mithril. We don't have any. Am I going to go buy some? Uh, well, the problem is they're on an island. And I don't know that rocks is... I mean, rocks are capable of many things, as we've established. I don't know that they are capable of, of crossing that straight. Right, let's put a pin in it for now and come back to it later. There's so much other stuff to take a look at. Is that my BFG? Oh, <laughs> um, hey, tiny child, you love firing enormous firearms. Dad, uh, oh god, go on then. Wow, that instantly destroyed my tower. Um, what's the cooldown on that? Short. <laughs> like insignificant. Holy shit, you destroyed the shooting target. Oh my god, that is broken. Uh, hello. I mean, it's BFG. I knew I knew what I was getting into here. Uh. D like raw damage oh yeah oh like a big bazooka not just a regular bazooka a big bazooka does 50 damage this does 500 the best part is it's still not as powerful as some of the hunts of age stuff <laughs> yeah okay i mean happy birthday lord demon gujon that's yours now enjoy my little psychopathic murderous friend i come to inevitably regret that decision yes but luckily there are no melee characters in the colony so it shouldn't be that much of an issue only to be in mithril but we also need that synthereus uh which we can't get until the trees have grown and they're only five percent grown so i guess we'll come back to that in 20 to 30 years time let's do some other research oe synthesis makes a bunch of drugs Healthcare has been such a big meme. Oh shit, and speaking of which, dermal regenerator. D dermal regenerator. One day I'll learn to spell, okay? It's not today, but one day, I promise. That's pretty cheap. So in theory, this thing, you stand at it and it blasts you back to being as good as new. And given that we're in a world without any decent hospital beds, so we can't build the vitals monitors or any of those IV drips that I've researched, we're, we're a bit stuck. While I'm in the misc tab, we absolutely have to look at the drop pod redirectors. I mean, there's so much stuff in the misc tab that... No, it was just hidden away. Squirreled away down here, like the Obsidian comms console. I presume is just the same as a regular comms console, but tiny. I think that's a cool idea for an upgrade, just making stuff smaller and more compact. That's great. Life support system connects up to a hospital bed, so we can't use that one either. Not yet. There are hospital beds. We've just got to be a bit more patient. Let's slap down one of these dermal regenerators then. Oh, it's off center. Uh, oh, hello. Actual bionics. There is on Rimworld. There are not base game bionics, but there are obsidian bionics, which is kind of fun. OE farm and something called crystal tilled soil. Triple efficient. Whoa, triple efficient tilled soil with synthesis. Okay, so we can't make that one either. But later, well, I think probably the first thing we'll spend this stuff on is, well, tilling the soil to speed up more of this in the future. It's big brain time. And we've got the farming efficiency. Hold on. Maybe I should do harvest yield a shitload then. Harvest yield will be improved by 1%. I mean, it's super, super expensive, but if this stuff is like the limiting factor on all of this tech, might as well. Oh my god, this is my type of thing. Hello there. Oh, what is that? Are we bioengineering? Research the basics of obsidian bioengineering technology. Ambrosia slime? Uh, there's no ambrosia. This is on Rimworld, unless they had some sort of different ambrosia I don't know about. What the hell? Oh my god, obsidian slime. Whoa, 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 whoa. So what do they do? They are slimes that you create. 
and they are configured to grow into a particular resource in seven days. They produce one Synthiris every 18 days. Jesus Christ. Um, warning. Slime is form. Oh, they're animals. They're bloody animals that you tame. Ah, oh, okay. And you make those in the amalgam vet, if you're curious. There's also these things here. Batter bone. Amalgam big hammer used by undyings. Amalgams are hybrids of EGO seed and obsidian technology. Hope you're keeping up. Wowee. Oh, shit. There's some sort of, like, organic weapon. Bone sword is ready. Proboscis. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff happening here. Um, wow. Suddenly going down bioengineering seems a bit odd at this point. Uh, this, though. This does take my fancy. Leg implant ninja. Well, people did want the, the Japan under theme. And without further ado, in theory... Fuck. <laughs> shit. What do you mean? Oh, Christ. Am I not allowed to ever go to Ultra Tech? Let's try researching one of these. Maybe that would, like, count enough to nudge it over. Please, just send it. Just send it. Every time you research this, the plant harvest yield will be improved by 1%. <gasps> Incredible. Incredible. Amazing. You've actually bloody done it. I don't know what Herculeum is, but I'll take three. Mass Effect Field Manipulation. There it is. Finally, we can make spacer era furniture. Give me more accurate to say, finally, we can make anything but medieval furniture. <laughs> I think I'll just move away from the harvest. Oh, no, you know what? Let him cook. Let's have a few harvest yields. Why not? I don't think I've ever seen that before. This kid's getting a lesson from Admus, and then the other kid is watching Admus teach the lesson. Oh, shit. That's amazing. You can kind of tell how little time has passed compared to the previous eras, right? Bear in mind, these kids are still kids. Which is, which is totally rare. I felt like before with like this generation of characters, they would just like every couple of research when we, uh, before we had all those massive productivity improvements, they were just getting older and older and older, which I understand is how kids work. But we had growth moments every five minutes. Seems like that might actually be stuck again. So let's go for all the research that don't actually lead to anything. Neutramine synthesizing doesn't lead to anything because this is on RimWorld. It could have manually picked out every single research, but I mean, this literally takes less time. The Hilda, Hilda, what are you doing? She's in the dermal regenerator. Oh, it's going to cure all of her scars. Very good, because that's kind of the implication with dermal regenerator, huh? Amazing. Right, while you're working on that one. So, th so this, this room is done. Everything is fully upgraded in terms of learning and hospital right now. There's nothing else I can do there. Oh my god, and we're already... Look, we've already only got five research left. Obviously, all of it's basically locked behind the Mass Effect mod. This is where all of our Ultra Tech stuff is coming from. Let's go for this mod first, the Mechanite Forge. That was what I was about to talk about next. I'm going to take away the old dining room that just kind of became our community center sitting area. And we're going to replace that with the Mechanite Forge and drugs production areas. If we're focusing big on armor and less on weapons, we've got to make up for it somehow. And why not pump our people full of many, many, many frightening drugs? Speaking of which, there seems to be one right there. I remember using this in Generations 1. I think. I think I use this in Generations 1. And there you have it. The Spacer Era is complete. Well, I mean, at least until I press this button right here. Space Tech Research Bench. Oh, shit. I totally forgot about this. It's the mod I need to use more often. I'm going to say at least we could take a look at the Obsidia Bionics because that uh, might have some relevant effect. Nope, we still need the stuff from the trees that so we could be here for a very, very long time. 9.1% of the way grown. Had I have known, I definitely would have researched that first, planted the trees, then done the rest of the space or era. But that's, you know, that's what we're here to learn. Being a witch, how's the plan for Granny's Crusade? 60% grown up for fuck's sake. <laughs> Mass Effect field manipulation. It's finally time. We'll bang, okay? Oh, and then we can't do anything. That's it. Like, we're actually stuck until I build a research bench. Excellent. This is where we need to be. Uh, where is where is that? Here we go. Please let it fit. Oh, it's a different size to the rest of my research room. You fucking bitches. Came up with this mod, huh? Who came up? Ban them. Ban them from the damn workshop. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's so massive. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can make it work can make it work. Just bear with me. I am nothing if not resourceful. I mean that literally. I am full of resources. Please, my colony is on the verge of collapse. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's only one million. That's fine. Wait, how many digits is that one? Yeah, it's only one million. We're fine. 37 episodes, seven research benches, seven incredible researchers, all the linkables you could ever think of, and repeated work boost research. All for this moment. Finally, at long last, I can build fucking base. Look at it. Actual furniture. You could have guessed that the biggest gap in the market for RimWorld mods would be 
Space era furniture, industrial era furniture, I suppose when I say it out loud, it does sound a bit boring. Why are you people making the cool stuff like the dermal generators and the crazy drugs and the fancy Jedi archives looking spacer desks and all these armor sets and other crazy things when you could be making chairs? Nobody ever wants to build base. They just want to build horrible super soldiers all the fucking time. Spacer clothing. Boom. It's called fashion, honey. Look it up. Actual television. Actual television. We finally invented it. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. I was so preoccupied with whether or not I could. I shouldn't think about whether or not I did. Should. What? I was so preoccupied with whether or not I could. I didn't think about whether I should. Because it's just occurred to me that we're in the, uh, the ultra tech era. We're still using armor from the industrial. Oh no, turrets are a mixture of industrial and medieval. So preoccupied with building base, I never once considered that all my people are going to get horribly murdered. Okay, here's the plan then. Well, forget everything, forget the research for a while, let's put a pin in that. I could do with some armor, some defenses, some weapons, because my god, if enemies turn up now, they're going to have a very easy time. X01MK6, what the fuck is this? Elon Musk's child, who named this? No, no, it's from Zong it's the Enclave. You guys know the Enclave. Hello! Oh my god, that stuff is expensive, but Jesus, it's good. 130% sharp armor. Yeah, higher carry capacity, higher social impact, because it's very intimidating. Oh my god, Enclave Tesla gear, that stuff is cool. Enclave Power Armor Helmet Mark II. Man, there's so much stuff. Holy shit, this is cool. Um, I've got a crazy idea. I've got a real crazy idea. What if we make a different armor set for every person? Just started the first armor sets for people, and we're already out of plasteel. Incredible. I've given up a, a swath of different armors from different mods. Forget about what, what's best and what's the most powerful. I'm here for style. And I mean, realistically, it's all going to be pretty good, because we have some very, very, very strong crafters, researchers. This is the legacy of my man Boozax right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I accidentally clicked this, and look at this stuff. Oh my god, advanced shield belt used by the eccentric star. Phase shield belts have great length increased capacity and rapid reset capabilities, but cannot recharge while actively under strain. Oh, cool. Layered shield belt. They, they have ablative layers. Modulated shield belt. Lower shield strength and charges more slowly, but it allows you to shoot outwards. Interesting. My god, is my hubris coming back to bite me? It's a pack of giant snakes again. What's wrong with you? I think it's finally time for Castle Gooseborn to show they mean business. Die! Okay, oh, like maybe kill them faster. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm getting horrible flashbacks. Oh, I'm getting horrible flashbacks. These damn Gooseborn. These damn Gooseborn are shit. They've never done anything. Why are you? What? It bit her neck clean off in one blow. It bit her neck clean off in one blow. She had 167% sharp armor. Mechanugget, run! Why are you not shooting the snake that's in front of you, you fucking fool? He's gonna have to hide in the tomb. He's gonna have to hide in Grandpa Boozax's tomb. Run, 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 run. This isn't happening again. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, no, no, the door shut, the door shut, the door shut. You're fine. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Everyone else is finally here. Oh my god, she is totally surrounded. Man, these snakes don't fuck around. I see why they only sent 14 of them to fight us when we're in the... Uh, when we're in the space era. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, blow them away. Blow them away. I can't see a damn thing. There's so many trees coming out of the goddamn walls. Oh, careful, 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 careful. No one else dies. No one else dies. Someone else might die. Someone else might die. Little baby man. Little baby man. Not little baby man. No! You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers, I thought he was ready for combat. He had 20 shooting. Turns out he was still just a child. How fucking strong are these snakes, though? Jesus Christ, that's the most damage we've ever taken. Always with the snakes. She had so much armor. And it bit her head clean off in a single jump. <laughs> Admus, you better run. You better run, Admus. You better run. Uh, we better get another Dr. Mecha Nugget. Get up here. No, 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 no. Let him cook. So we're intended. Get up here. You know what sucks? Having two bases perfectly in the middle of where the enemies are going to pop out of. There's just really no winning at that. You're a horrible idea, statistically. A sure, three out of four raids, totally fine. Uh, but for that uh, one raid that they pop out the top... Screwed. Castle Gooseborn, always screwed. I was only oh, 14 plus how many are still downed? So it was 19 snakes in total. How strong are these snakes that that's what they're sending us when we've got over a million colony wealth? 
That is ludicrous. Is it? Is it? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not pissed around anymore. You know, I've specifically held back from a lot of the overpowered stuff because I felt like it would undermine everything else so far. Then you send me snakes that bite my character's heads clean off in one go. Yeah, she wasn't wearing a particularly dense helmet. Okay, she wasn't wearing a power armor helmet. It was a fancy hat that let her shoot better. That's just the style of the hunter phage people. This is it? No more. No more fucking around. Okay, this is it? No more messing around. Get rid of this. We're gonna build. No, I like the idea of it being classic though. I was gonna say we'll build a force field wall along the front, but I like this being medieval. We're gonna upgrade the rest of the base. No more medieval stuff. We're, we're beyond that. Get rid of these cavalry spikes. What the hell is that doing here? Do you know what year it is? Little baby man poos ex bungus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you do, as a bungus, get to go in the tomb. Hooray! There's always a silver lining. I mean, not that you'd know about that because you're horribly dead. Horribly murdered by an enormous snake again. The real sad part is Lord Demon Gujon and his brother, they, they were constantly social fighting, mainly because they were the same age, hanging out in the same area. They just didn't like each other. Different traits, different personalities. And now, now you've got to get a little bit of revenge there. Admus, what are you doing? He's teaching a lesson in shooting to a kid with 20.99 shooting. Thank you, Astrid. Much obliged. Let's get you buried, little baby man. I'm so sorry. So much potential cut down once again by an enormous friggin' snake. Thank you for joining us, Grace. Uh, this is the daughter of, of course, the all-knowing rocks and then Mrs. Rocks. Rare opening of the Boozax Bungus tomb to everyone. Because I think we should all be gathered here today because everybody lost someone. Because they're all horribly, horribly, horribly inbred. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the funeral rites. This is not a fucking picnic ground. Get out of here. This is a familial tomb. Get out. And then Admus Jr. joining the rest of her family members and fellow colonists here in the, the, the colony graveyard. No, no special tomb for House Admus, of course. So to be fair, if we gave every unique family a special tomb, we'd have one tomb. Because they're all horribly inbred, just to reiterate. No, you must be confused. The, the Boozak's Bungus tomb is down the road. This is the Boozak's tomb. What's the difference? Nobody knows. It's all arbitrary. Get out of the sacred forge, Nightshade. I was locked for a reason. First things first. This may seem counterintuitive. Get rid of all the towers. The enemies are attacking the towers. They're not attacking our people. That makes them unpredictable and makes them difficult to comprehend with when they finally get to us because they're cracking holes in the walls in places where we don't want to fight them. There is one place we want to fight them and that's the place that we've massively reinforced with a lot of turrets. It's time to enter the future. Squidward. We can go for chromium, right? I tested chromium. I'm not gonna lie. It's not as chrome as you'd probably like it to be. It, it basically just looks like steel, to be honest, or, or, or just like marble bricks. So instead, we're going to send it. We're going to go titanium walls. Why don't you breach this, you big snake bitch? And in a fit of madness, or should I say, admus... Ud moat expansion. Boozax's legacy. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna expand it even further down. How much further down? Far enough down that I can whoa whoa whoa, whoa. the trees can still grow in the mud moats. Oh, well never mind then. Okay, I take back everything I said. I was only doing that to get rid of these trees so I could see, you know, rebuilding the wall, but um I guess we'll just cut down the trees instead. Five thousand seven hundred and twenty hit points solid titanium in a two block by two block configuration an absolute eyesore when you look beyond the first wall okay look it's gonna take a long time to swap all this stuff out because it's uh, like sometimes stuff doesn't replace and i can't quite figure out why because that could that should clearly swap out for that one but it doesn't but i bet if i come down here and try and swap out one of these bits hey go look See? Soon. Soon no one will harm you again, my sweet colonists. You will be the finest, most impenetrable titanium. The Hellcat. You'll live forever. No one, no one will ever hurt us again. Oh, I mean, unless it got drop pods, at which point we're probably fucked. But no one will ever hurt us again. I presume they come through the front gate. I mean, hey, it looks good. We do look significantly less medieval. I've got to ask the question again, though. Are we the baddies? It's the road and tendies of baddie. You know. You oh, Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize he had that helmet on. Oh, my God. Just not a significant amount about this that screams good, guys. We've got to keep the rock safe, though. Look at Astrid's armor. Look at Astrid's armor. I think a lot of the armor sets are done. Roll call. Line up, please. Jesus Christ. Look at Hilda. <laughs> Good God above. Look at the muscles on you. Madam Dino Nugget with a horn poking through the Enclave armor is amazing. You look fantastic. You look amazing. Mecha Nugget in his own way with his legendary armor and his sunglasses because he's that cool. Jesus. I mean, eventually... Oh, Angus, you're here too with your Tesla armor. Eventually, we'll be able to finish the rest of it. 
like a lot of plasteel, okay? In fact, they might have done a lot more since I last checked. Ooh. 400 years later, it is complete. Well, it wasn't that long. It was like 20 minutes, okay? Let's see you get through my walls now with their 6,000 hit points and my gates with 5,000 hit points. Again, they could just drop part in the middle, at which point we'd be screwed. And actually, it's quite likely, given that the base spans a sizable chunk of this map. Oh my god! Right on cue. That was not planned. That was a pure coincidence. They've just got the devil's strand we need for Goose Army. Kill them all. I don't care what overpowered weapons or mods or xenotypes or anything we have access to. The Enclave dies for killing Granny. We can leave the base now, safe in the knowledge that chances are we'll survive whatever the game throws at us with walls this thick. Anyway, everybody hides here. We let them die on the turrets. We can pick them off from a distance with our big guns. But of course, we took Bulwark, so guns aren't really our strong suit. But what we do have are some very, 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 very fancy sets of armor. I await the moment that Mecha Nugget Boozax Bungus gets shot in the head because he has picked style over substance. I have a samurai spider. Nobody can stop us. What would Granny say now, huh? A tear would... She would shed a tear. She'd shed a tear both because she's so happy about her murderous underlings, but secondly, she'd shed a tear because we've embraced technology, and that was never really her jam. Granny doesn't have to worry about that being her jam because, of course, Granny is jam after she was hit by that rocket launcher yesterday. Thank you all for joining me. I think we've probably got, like, two more episodes left of research and understanding, get a feeling for the mods. Still got to check out all that Obsidian stuff, so whenever the trees are grown will be when we finally get access to that, but I'm... Pretty happy with, with what I found out. I know exactly what I've got in mind now for the various different eras and stages, and clearly what's missing. It's minus, of course, all of the base game stuff. And I've got a good idea for balance in my head now, and I've learned a lot about biotech, and of course, how that impacts the generations, because this would have been a total nightmare to dive into generations too, not knowing all the fertility negatives that come with aging, and, and things like weird stuff like lactating lowers fertility to 5%, and just all sorts of strange shit like that. So I'm armed with knowledge. This was a worthy sacrifice, but next series will, of course, be spooky series ahead of spooky months so stay tuned for that one thank you of course to the executive producer patrons for allowing the series to exist in the first place don't forget cyberpunk on the second channel thank you to shinjian kerbo supreme heroic cat the aaron w zero jenny bomberline retile jurgen pepfiend squiggly line moira valkyrie matt lewin liddy's spongy 1312 justin mitchell will mr irrelevant archbishop vanessa greaves vincent van Giel, wookie overlord Cooper Sucumber, Bubka, Chris, Jonathan Cameron, Lawbringer, Robert Del Rosario, uh, Azaminon Zion, Elliot Pup, and Dragon MRH for their support over there. And of course, I could not forget Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines over on the Elysian Sam channel if you are enjoying that too, kind of every other day, depending on how much we've got recorded. Thank you as well to Daniel Bauman, Palatum, Pal Paltala Mort, Nox Immortalis, Kayak Iggy, Z Audio 951 Dots, Sierra Matthews, Red Nebula, D's nuts, Dan does a thing, Ethan Wurtzman, Throwmash, Evolka, Daggets, Joe, Herman, Hawkholtz, and Whiskey Queer. See you all mm, tomorrow. Build base. It's got to be build base tomorrow.